feel the fury of... Oh, just die already! I should have fought harder about that. Oh well, maybe the next time. A bonfire! Good! I suspect I have to go that way. As that must be where Seif the Scale is. Appears to have his power. I saw nothing that's good. Prevent him from regenerating in the area that I fought him. So it must be around that crystal grave outside these archives. have lured my guard. Good. I am safe from the arrows from here. At least the other undead archers switch to some form of melee weapon. Even the hollows at the undead burg. That channeler is probably back. Now my Quelag Fury Sword is at its strongest. This could be a problem.
I'd best, I'd best switch, switch to the crossbow. crossbow. Perhaps I can access that treasure chest from there. Although I'm unsure if there is treasure there. Ah, good. It appears to stop them from drawing their bow if I keep attacking them with bolts. Thankfully, I purchased... <sighs> Words are not coming out clearly. I purchased quite a few of them in Anor Londo. In the pursuit of acquiring a silver night shield. Good. You are not a mimic. More twinkling titanites! Good! I also improved my armor in the process. Although I'm mostly acquired the souls for the bolts and the improvements to my armor, mostly to avoid them being entirely lost by Ornstein's small. each time I was defeated by it. Come closer, so that I have not as far to go to slice you up. Before I even think about using full control to get to that chest. I had best eliminate all resistance. That includes these crystal undead soldiers as well as the remaining channeler. And I suspect this will involve dropping down at the right time while using Full control. A most useful sorcery. The problem is the careful timing parts.
But I'll, I'll get, get to that, that once I... I... Well... Kill all of the undead that matter. Or rather, all the hollows. Feel the scorching heat of my Quillard's fury sword, hollow! Now that was much better! I do not believe that using pyromancy is necessary here. All I need to take care of these crystal covered hollows quicker, rather quick thee, is Quaylark's Fury Sword. And my longbow and crossbow. Although that is mostly a true. Well, certainly in the longbow's case, certainly. Well, it attracts their attention so it gets closer. And then I kill them! Unless, of course, they're beyond my reach. In that case, I do use it to kill them. As for the channeler... I shall have to use that ring. I'd best take care of the one on the upper level first. That one has the height advantage. And now I have the height advantage. I'd best put that ring on. After I kill this hollow, it is best to get rid of all distractions that I can before Delivering a painful death to that channeler. Preferably without giving it a chance to do the trident dance. Now how to get close without attracting more attention from it than I'd like.
Yes. This, this is the, the ring, ring I need to get close, close enough to attack. attack. <sighs> Where did you go? Oh, there you go. <sighs> Not good enough. I was, I was hoping, hoping to kill them before they have a chance to do the trident dance, but that works, works as well. <sighs> I think the chlor the chloramphy ring. will be more useful here. And I remember there's... Oh yes, there is that as well. And not a moment too soon. If I have been attacked, the ring of the evil eye is a good one to use as they go down easily enough. And there are quite a few of them. Perhaps I should use these crystal weapons to get rid of them. As I do... I do not think that King Seeker Frant will like crystal weapons. Rather eating them. Considering that he wanted Seif the Scaleless dead. Let's just see what is in that chest. Now to turn the wheel and then run off. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I need to use full control before I do turn the wheel and then drop off at the right time. A bit too slow. Need to turn it round and then turn it round again. Oh, 
Let's just see if I can do it right this time! Three attempts so far. Now! <sighs> and then this chest is... Ooh! An interesting looking crossbow! And I happen to know that there are a number of test targets. beyond that doorway, although I had best use fall control just to be certain that that it would not kill me. Thankfully, I rested at that bonfire. Now I do not have to go all the way back to The holding cell and this crossbow can fire three bolts at once. Not a lot of damage, but then again, I have not improved it yet. with a little improvement from Oh yes, I have not been up here yet. Or at least not open this chest. Ah, sorcery! And I believe I could use this one. Does not appear to be that effective in long drawn out confrontations, but it has some uses. I have most definitely been here. Be. Ah, not over, over there. there. I had I best, best remedy, remedy that. that. As, As I, I need a way down, down to where that large, large crystal, crystal formation is. I shall stick with a light crossbow.
Although I will keep the light crossbow. As I might want to... Yes! Imagine how much damage it could cause with lightning magic imbued with it. Although I might want to look around to see if there's anyone that who could do fire based enchantments to my weapon. Although I will not want that for fighting the Witch of Isolith. As she is big on pyromancy. And using fire against one who is most experienced with it, not a good idea. Crystal Ember! I suppose that might be useful for those who want to improve crystal weapons. <laughs> Mimic! I was expecting much worse and an enchanted falcon. This is not a mimic. Perhaps this key can free Logan of Vinheim. And it appears that this is the way down. Which can wait. As I told Big Hass Logan that I would find a way to free him. And so I shall. I will have to fight my way through. some crystal undead soldiers, but they are not exactly a threat. It is those serpent guards which are a threat. Well, more so than these. 